the fifth consecutive year, the FIA F3 European Championship travelled to the circuit de Spa-Francorchamps in Belgium. India's Jehan Daruvala qualified on pole for the first race of the weekend, but the Carlin driver made a poor start and was beaten into Turn 1 by Marcus Armstrong and Alex Pellew. Further back, there was contact between Nikita Troitsky and Sasha Van Astres, the Russian out with suspension damage. On the Kemmel straight, Pallu slipstreamed his way into the lead. Daruvala moved back up to second and Armstrong dropped to third. Seven minutes into the race and Daruvala fought back, charging past Pallu to reclaim the race lead. Meanwhile, the championship leader was headed for retirement as Armstrong picked up a puncture following contact with Ben Hingley. And with a similar problem, his Prima teammate Guan Yu Zhu was also pit bound. Armstrong's closest championship rival, Dan Tickton, was busy charging up from 13th on the grid. This terrific move around the outside, putting the Briton ahead of Mick Schumacher. Ralph Aron and Enam Ahmed touched wheels as they battled for third place. Ahmed's front suspension was damaged and the British F3 champion was out. And so it was Jehan Daruvala that went on to take his first win of the season. 3.2 seconds clear of Alex Pellew, with Ralph Aron completing the podium. Germany's Mick Schumacher claimed his first F3 pole for race two with Guan Yu Zhu sharing the front row. But Schumacher lit up his tyres with too much wheel spin off the line, and as he struggled for traction, the number seven car of Ralph Aron drew alongside and snatched the lead. Schumacher clipped Zhu's front wing as he turned into La Source. Zhu headed for his second successive retirement. The black number 44 motor park run car of Yuri Vips then passed Aron for the lead at the end of the Kemmel straight. A terrific start for the Estonian, having come from sixth on the grid. Schumacher's race though was over, right rear puncture following that clash with Zhu. Then huge drama as the top two banged wheels. Aaron sent spiralling into the barriers and both drivers out of the race. With a post-race penalty having dropped him from 4th to 13th in race 1, Tickton was fired up and on another mission. This move on Robert Schwartzman putting him up to second place from 10th on the grid. His next target, race leader Fabio Scherer. Tickton was quickly onto the tail of his motor park teammate as the pair ran nose to tail through the bus stop chicane. Just behind, Daruvala had taken third place away from Schwartzman. Tickton then got a better run through Eau Rouge, drew alongside Shara at Radion and committed himself to the move. It paid off as he moved into the race lead, but having made the overtake early along the Camel Strait, Tickton would now have to defend on the run up to Lacombe. Shara got back alongside, but it was job done for Tickton edged clear in the closing stages while Scherer worked hard to keep Daruvala at bay. The chequered flag fell on a brilliant victory for Tickton, his third of the season, while Scherer held on for second place and his maiden F3 podium. <laughs> Guan Yu Zhu claimed pole for the final race of the weekend, with Prima Theodore racing teammate Marcus Armstrong starting alongside in the number eight machine. Zhu held the lead going into the source, while Schwartzman and Armstrong ran wheel to wheel for second place. Both would then slipstream past Zhu, who then had contact with Schumacher as they turned into Lacombe. Zhu sent spinning down the field as his miserable weekend continued. Schumacher, though, survived and was up to third place. At two thirds race distance, Schwartzman attacked Armstrong for the lead on the exit to La Source and powered his way through on the downhill run into Eau Rouge. And a brave move from Schumacher mid corner as he went by two. But Schumacher was not about to settle for second place as he carried greater speed onto the Camel Straight, got the inside line, and moved to the head of the pack. Now in his second season of Formula 3, Schumacher was on course for his first ever victory in the category, and the German duly pulled away to take the chequered flag. Schumacher's reaction as he crossed the line, one of sheer delight. Schwartzman finished second with Armstrong third, and now holding a slender one-point lead in the championship over Dan Tickton. No doubting the happiest man in Spa, though, Mick Schumacher.